you love pinatas, but I hate cracking them open. They're too pretty to destroy. So we've come up with a pinata bowl. It hangs just like a pinata, but all you have to do is tip it up to scatter the prizes and the candy. I love this idea. This is super fun and colorful. It would be great for a birthday party. And you could keep it long after the party was over. That's right. So to make it, it's actually cool materials here. We're gonna use some tissue paper, some glue, some instant paper mache, and you'll want a few things like a pokey tool, some scissors, and definitely gloves, lots of newspaper because it's a little messy. Yeah, covering our work surface is really important too. Yes, well, let's do that right now. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is mix up the instant paper mache. Sounds and good. And we've gotta blow up a balloon. So all right, I'll work on that. You work on the balloon. Can you hand me the water? Yes. Because with this product, all I have to do is just dump in some water. Like that, keep going all the way. Put it all in there. Nice. Okay. Yep. And I'm going to take out the air bubbles and just seal the baggie and then give it a squish. And this kneading action mixes it up for us. Just like so. So you're going to knead it until it's a nice, even consistency and it's uh, pretty easy to work with. All right. So next, I'm going to put on the gloves because this is the part where mama gets messy. That's right. Are you ready? How's this for size? Are That's a good? great size. Yeah, okay. I think if you wanted a big bowl, you could do a big balloon, but you could also do it like little mini ones. Right. That would oh be my too. gosh, that'd be such a cute party favor. It really would. One on each table setting. Oh, love it. Okay, so now I'm gonna scoop out this mache mixture and working over my newsprint, we're just going to kind of pat it into place. I think this is definitely a forehand job. What do you think, Katie? For sure. All right, so we're gonna try and make it smooth as possible and pat it down. And if it starts to stick to your gloves, just pat your gloves in some warm water and that'll help, you know, keep it from sticking too much. Oh, that's a good idea. So now we're gonna do is cover the whole thing, but we're gonna move on to the next step. Okay, I'll move this one out of the way. Thank you. So when you let it set out to dry, overnight is best, you're gonna end up with this. A balloon in awesome. a bowl, yes. So now we just have to pop it. Okay. You can use the scissors or a scissors or This is my non-scary popping tip. Okay. Oh, I was kind of hoping for the Big Bang. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're gonna get ready to decorate. So we're gonna squeeze some glue onto a plate. You know what, when I have to squeeze a lot of glue, I just take off the whole. Me too. Don't you? Yeah. So now what we're gonna do is use some clear or white tissue paper, although again, you could use anything you wanted, and we're gonna go ahead and start decoupaging. So if you wanna use your foam brush, definitely, or just put a little bit of glue on, like so. And this is my favorite technique. You just tap the tissue with your foam brush. Clever. And that goes right on top. That's my favorite decoupage method. And if it gets a little wrinkly, that's okay. Now, this is just going to make the bowl more bright white than kind of that ivory white. But again, if you were doing something, oh, say for Halloween, you could use orange tissue paper, or frankly, you could paint it too if, if you really like that texture. Sure. There. So now we're gonna go ahead and cover the entire bowl and then set that aside to let it dry. So this is one of those okay. projects that it's so much fun to do, you know, over a series of afternoons. Yeah, when you're getting ready for the party. Yeah, like when something special each day. So now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add some stripes. Now, again, this is kind of up to you. Here, pick a color. Okay. You could um, do all one color. If you had a special birthday party theme color, you could do that. There are just so many ways. You could also cut it up into squares and do like a confetti type bowl. That would be cute too. But you notice how it's just kind of translucent and pretty. And if you get to the bottom, you can either cross them over and get a little bit of layered color. Isn't that fun when you can almost mix the colors just by using the tissue paper? Definitely. Let's see, and I'll just take that and put it over the top. Like so, so pretty. How would you decorate yours? That looks great. You know what? I always want to add glitter to things, so I'd be adding some glitter to my little tissue paper stripes. That Definitely. is, that's fun too. And maybe oh. some paint. You know, I like to let the kids go crazy with some paint pens and things like that. Mm -hmm. So once you get that stage done, again, set it aside, let it dry. So the next thing is going to be to add some hanging holes. Now. It feels really sturdy, but you know what? You can use a pokey tool. This is like for um, clay for modeling. Clay, yeah. And you just go ahead and ream the holes out like this, and it goes right through everything. And you can do two or three. Three is probably the most stable so that when you hang it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. And then we're gonna tie 
some ribbons on it. Okay. So we can hang it up. Sounds good. Mm-hmm. Again, I'm kind of thinking about that idea of having like little individual party favors too. That would too. be really fun too. Maybe this one is hanging over the table and then there are little ones for each Oh my setting. gosh, you could just have so much fun. And I'm guessing, since you can pierce it pretty easily, um, you could do like a little monogram and put a like an LED tea light in there. Oh yeah. And make it a little hanging luminaria. Oh, that would be so cute. There's so many different ways of using this project. Um, to suit your decor or your party theme. And again, it's just so adorable and a great way to get the kids involved and moms involved and grandmas and grandpas involved. Well, and that's what this season is all about is creating things together, crafting together to have some bonding time. All right, and then when you get all your strings in, you can gather them up like this, try and even it out like so and then use a little ring at the top or just tie a knot, kind of whatever works for you, so that you can hang it up and fill it with your favorite treats. I would have to have Skittles, have to be honest. Definitely chocolate for me. Chocolate, <laughs> and there you go. All set so and ready to party. What a great idea. Yes.